been the biggest growth process with Drake this season? Yeah, I think with all of them, especially those youngsters, just experience. And, and that's what I've talked about since since we started is, you know, if the more experience you get, the longer you're in the system, the better you're going to be as a player. And I think, again, uh, I mean, he's just one day further every day uh, in the system and, and a, a one day more experience. And, uh, you know, I think you see see that was all the guys, but it, particularly the young guys like Keith and like Drake, um, any of those freshmen, they just get better and better every day because you can't replace real real reps, you know what I mean? And that's uh, each day gives them another opportunity to get more reps. And so uh, his experience is, uh, you know, he has a better feel for things and better feel for grass. And, and um, he, he just understands the offense that much better. He, he's always been a special talent. He's very gifted uh, to be his size and have the kind of body control and ball skills that he has. They just don't make people like that. But, you know, where he's improved the most, like I said, is just understanding the offense and understanding how to get open. And, and it, that just comes with reps. And, uh, you know, the more he plays, the better he'll be. What is Keaton, uh, Keaton doing so well in the fourth quarter? Probably just doing his job. I don't know. But he, uh, you know, I think he's played well. Really, since he's come back from his injury, he's been pretty well. You know, I mean, he's played pretty well. I think in the, in the Arizona game at times, he tried to make too much happen. Uh, thank goodness the defense played well early to, to keep us in it. But, um, you know, I think that that's uh, what he's done. What he did a really nice job of last week. And really, I thought most of the game, we just didn't get many snaps that first half. I think we had like 25 or 28 snaps, something like that, the entire first half. But I thought, you know, besides the one piggy through, he did a really good job. And really on the pick, it wasn't a bad read. He just missed the guy, you know. But um, he's done a great job of just, just continuing to do his job, knowing what the situation is. And that's what we talked about uh, with him after the game more than anything was, you know, the, what I was most proud of him about is he never pressed. You know, even, even when we got down, he never tried to make too much happen. He stayed within himself, just just did what he was supposed to do, did his job, uh, and things worked out, you know. And so, so that was good to see, especially from a guy that's as young as he is, a true freshman like he is. Um, being down on the road in a, in a decent environment um, to not press and just keep doing his job over and over and over and trusting that uh, his job's enough. That was impressive to see. So, so I was proud of him the way he did that, especially as the game went on. But, you know, really I think that's the key for him all the time is just relax and do your job. Don't try to make too much happen. Don't overthink it. Don't try to press. If you just if you just do what you do, uh, that's enough because he's, he's a talented kid and a really smart kid. What did you tell him about the flip to Keenan in the fourth quarter? Oh, I thought yeah, that was a decent play. The kid, he just bided it around. Um, you know, obviously we got to take care of the football, and that's something we we talk about all the time, and um, something we've talked about since game one. And really, if you look at it, when in games that we haven't beat ourselves, particularly with turnovers, we've usually come out on top. You know, and so so that's what uh, that's obviously a, a point of emphasis. Uh, he put two balls on the ground. The flip, that was an unfortunate deal. He's trying to make a play. The kid kind of batted it up, and uh, luckily for us, they didn't make the play. Uh, but you know, the fumbles and the interception are the things that I think we have a little more control over, you know. And like I said, the little flip, that's just a kid trying to make a play, and I don't have a problem with that, really. The the, uh, the fumbles, he either has to get down and have better ball security, and, and the interception, like I said, it wasn't a poor decision. He just missed him. But um, those things happen. Uh, but but like I said, we, we got to take care of the football, and that's something we emphasize with him and all the guys, really, not nonstop. So you have a true freshman, a true freshman quarterback, running back, and Drake London, receiver out there. Well, what? Sitting up in the box, what gives you the confidence that they're going to be able to get the job done for you? <laughs> they're a special group of guys, and uh, you know, I don't obviously playing with true freshmen. That's that's especially at a place like this. It's probably going to happen. I mean, most of the places I've been, true freshmen haven't been ready to play here. You get you get a little more developed and a more a little more talented kid most of the time, and so uh, that that's going to be part of it. Um, that you're going to have to play with young guys, especially if they give you the best chance to win. And, and those guys are just special guys. Uh, you know, since we've been here, we've known, or you know, it's been evident that Keaton's been really special and been a, been a good player. Um, with Drake, you know, he, he came, he didn't come in semester, so we really didn't get to see as much to him until fall camp. He started outside, we moved him inside, and, you, and he just had a natural feel for things. And so, uh, particularly with those two, really since camp, you felt really good with those two in the game. And uh, and Drake's really mature to be a true freshman. You know, the, the moment's never too big for him. He does exactly what you ask him to do. He practices really hard. You know, the only time he gets mad, he doesn't get mad if you coach him, he gets mad that he didn't do it right. You know, he's, he's mad at himself. And so when you have a kid with that kind of mentality, um, it gives you more confidence in him because you know he's going to try everything he can to do it exactly the way you teach him. And, and as a coach, that's all you can ask for. And uh, so if you've got a talented kid that um, tries to do everything the exact way that you try to teach him, uh, 
and like I said, you, you've got a decent amount of confidence in him. And uh, with Drake, we, we've been very confident in him all year. You know, in, in some games we felt like 11 personnel gave him the best chance to win and move the football because we had to run the football at times. And so there's been games where he hasn't been in as much. Uh, but like I said, a lot of that's just because we weren't needed to be in 11 to, to run the football. Um, you know, but all year when we've been in 10, he's been in there. Uh, just last game, we thought that gave us our best chance to move the football. You know, even some five wide gave us a good chance to move the football. So um, his role has increased mainly just because that's what personnel we felt in certain games gives us the best chance to win. And so, um, so and, and he's continued to grow and develop. But like I said, he's, a, he's an unbelievable kid. He does exactly what you want. He, he, he does exactly what you t coach him to do. Uh, he competes. And like I said, when you got someone like that, you got confidence in that kid. Do you have a favorite? You had a lot of playmakers, made a lot of big plays. Any one of them was like, boy, I like. You had a favorite play? A all, favorite play? A favorite play the other day. All those good plays. Well, I like the game winner probably because it won the game. But uh, the one that stands out probably besides that is is the the second along one threw it to Drake over the middle. That was a special play too. Um, and that's something I've talked to Keaton about quite a bit. In Notre Dame, we had that exact same situation. He didn't throw it. Um, and I think a lot of it just because. He's young and he's probably never seen that look. And and, uh, and the guys he's played with in high school, probably if you throw it to him in that situation, it's not a good decision. But that's what I've tried to explain to him. If that guy has no vision, he's trying to carry really any of our guys, but particularly Drake, a guy with that with that size up the seam, um, give him a chance. You know, that's a, that's a that's a high percentage throw we got to feel like. Uh, so, you know, in, in Arizona, that last scoring drive that we went on, he made that same throw on third down to Drake right off the pipe with a guy that had no vision on him, and he made the throw. Um, so that was good to see, but it wasn't much of a pressure situation. And the other night when the game's on the line in a big situation, to see him make that throw again and trust Drake and see Drake come up with it, you know, I think that's what gives them both a ton of confidence. And so the, the more confident they get in trouble with each other and the more comfortable they get with, with those kind of throws, the more you'll see it happen and then the better it'll be. So, so obviously I like that play. Um, TV's catch was unbelievable. I don't know if that was a great decision, but that was an unbelievable catch, you know, so that was fun to watch. Uh, really, they were all fun, and especially the touchdowns. It seems like they were all big plays from our playmakers. Uh, Almond Rawls' first carry, probably the first carry of his career, you know, he runs in the middle linebacker over and scores a touchdown. That one's pretty cool, you know. So um, we had a lot of fun plays, a lot of special plays, but it's like we said from the beginning, we've got playmakers, and, and the key is to get those guys the ball, and if you do, they usually make good things happen. What's your impression of his Oregon defense? Uh, they do a good job and, and um, fly around, but – you know, we got to go do our job, and that's what's going to come down to. And that's, like I, like I said, if we, we got to take care of the football, they've done a good job of getting takeaways and winning turnover margins really all year. Uh, especially, I think they have like 14 interceptions and they've thrown one. You know, that's uh, that's really impressive. So we got to take care of the football and, uh, and go do our job. And like I said, don't press. It'll be a great atmosphere, I'm sure. Um, you know, I'm sure it'll, it'll, our guys will be up for it and be excited because it is a pretty big game. Um, but at the same time, if they just relax and play, uh, we got a ton of confidence in our guys. And so that's uh, that's been our message. So just go be you, because because that's enough every week. And, and you know, if you get beat doing your job, then they were just a better team that night. But um, if we just go do our job, we, we feel pretty confident because we got really good players. Where would you want more? What's that? Where would you want to see the offensive line improve? Really, the other night I thought they were unbelievable. Um, they got I thought Colorado got really exotic in their blitzes. Um, they got us on one. Uh, the, the first third down, they brought a, they brought the corner that we didn't have a guy for. Other than that, but now I'm not saying we made the block every single time, but to, to ID it and, and get guys to the right guys every time was really, really impressive by those guys. And I think a lot of that has uh, speaks volume about Brett. Uh, he's, he's one, a really smart player. You know, if you saw him and compared to all our old linemen, he might be your last pick just on looks. But um, that kid's a special kid, man. And, and uh, the way he understands football, how smart he is, the way he gets all those guys uh, going to the right people and even gets the, gets the running back uh, kind of – he makes the running back know where to go. He tells them all that. And so to, with the blitz package that they tried to bring on us the other night and they, they showed some looks they had never shown and for Brett to uh, be able to decipher it and get us on the same page uh, was really, really impressive by that kid. And really that's what gave us a chance to be successful offensively most of the night was, was Brett being able to get everyone on the same page. And I thought they did a heck of a job, you know. And so um, I was really proud of him in that. Um, but there's always a lot to get better on, and uh, and so we're, we're going to be hard on them. And really, with the entire offense, what we've been, what we've tried to stress to them is just doing the small things right, doing the details right. And I think that's 
that's what we can all do better, but particularly those guys, it's just small things, small technique things, um, and they're dominant because because they're they're a really good group. Brent gets them all going in the right spots, and if they just trust the techniques and do those right, uh, they're as good as anyone I've ever seen. So, um, like I said, that's what we've really harped on those guys particularly, but really the entire offense is just do the small things, right? Take care of the details, um, and that's enough because you're doing a lot of really special things. Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.